It has been 10 months since 19 year old Kelsey Small was struck by gun gunfire near Caldwell and First Street here in Louisville. It happened on the early morning of May 9th. Her mother is talking to Heather Fountaine about her last night alive on this week's Crime Stoppers. I wish to take my career in nursing because I love helping people and I believe that everyone deserves a second chance at this thing called life. Kelsey Small had big dreams. I'm wishing to attend a great, awesome, safe college like University of Louisville or Northern Kentucky University. Just ready to start my long, successful career making a change. Goals the teen swore to as a sophomore in high school. She was 16 years old when she wrote that. And was well on her way to completing them by 19 years old. Just ask Delisa Love. She is my daughter, I can go on and on about her. Kelsey was going to Northern Kentucky University and studying to become a nurse practitioner in 2020. She'll do anything for anyone, anyone. And that's exactly how she spent her last night alive. She was just dropping her friends out. It was a typical Friday on May 8th, 2020. So she came in from after, after, um, after work and gave me a hug in the hallway right there. Delisa went to bed while Kelsey went out. Kel my husband said Kelsey had left out of the house at 11.46 p.m. And my daughter was pronounced dead at like 2.25. Her car shot up near Caldwell and First Street while she was driving her friends home. Police say one of her friends was also shot and survived. I was devastated. My world just stopped hit by what's believed to be stray bullets. Actually, it was the first thing my detective said as well when I spoke with him the morning of. He said this had nothing, absolutely nothing to do with Kelsey. So no, she was not a target. Delisa has turned her daughter's room into a memorial. Kelsey's pictures growing up cover the walls. Just because her earth light in, her, her, her memories and stuff will never go away. And I'm gonna keep it alive till the day I die. And on the table, an award established in her honor. It's called the Kelsey Smile Healer Award. It will be given each year to someone pursuing a career in the medical field. And Kelsey always made me so proud to be her mom, but that, you know, even her death, Keeping her legacy, her memory alive, and it, it means everything to me. But so would some justice. The murder of Delisa's daughter remains an open case. Because the person who did this to my child is still out here. Not charged, still going on with their life. And my daughter's in a mausoleum at 19 years old. That's devastating. She knows there are people who saw what happened and asks those with answers to give them to the police. It would give me and my family some closure, the closure we've been needing. A 19-year-old studying to become a nurse caught in the middle of crossfire here at Caldwell and First Street. After 10 months, no one has been charged with her murder. If you have information and can connect someone to this crime, it's time to speak up. You can leave a tip anonymously and bring this family some justice. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Heather Fountaine.